What's up, y'all? I am coming real quick to show you that, yes, finally, I'm getting started on my head while I have um, a couple of days off. Um, I, uh, I've only done, like, these sections around, you know, the, the uh, edges. And uh, after we... I actually wore this earlier today and threw it on because I started last night and I started late last night because I didn't get off till late and then I had to uh, cleanse my hair and stuff. So I actually ended up using the uh, Shea Moisture Black Soap, the purification mask. Yep, it's a keeper. Um, I, I don't think I have the right... For, uh, not formula, but uh, fragrance or the right of, uh, of the Terra Centrals because, I mean, Sultry Spice was one of the ones that was recommended for my hair type and whatever, the problems that I have in my hair, but I think I need to try either that lavender or the lemongrass, something, something, I forgot, it's lemongrass, something with lemon in it, um, because... I just did not like how that sultry spice had my hair feeling um and i have used it several times i know it calls for um, a few weeks of the detox process but i don't even think it's supposed to be feeling like that like my hair is feeling even after five six times i've used it so anyway i decided to try the the african black soap i meant the shea moisture uh purification mask and um and I loved it. It um, it definitely it cleansed without stripping, and it it felt good going on. And after I washed uh, washed and rinsed it off, and I followed it up with uh, Curl Junkie Smoothing Lotion. Um, I love that. That is a keeper, most definitely. Um, I have to interchange because it is a little bit on the more expensive side for my liking. I don't really like to spend, you know, more than ten dollars. I don't. I feel it's, you know, a little bit, whatever. So anyway, um, but it's some good stuff, and I actually left it on. I did. I used it as a leave-in this time um, because I I DC'd with it, um, baggied and everything last night. And I got started on, I did this section here last night. So um, the sections that weren't done, I just, I left the baggie on and uh, pinned it so that it didn't slide off with bobby pins and put my satin binding over the top and slept with it on and actually had it on pretty much all day. And as I go through, I'll just grab, cause I have uh, underneath here, I have my satin binding underneath that. I have the plastic cap but I have my hair sectioned they're still in the twist but they're sectioned and um, braided so as I you know get to a section I will just take that section out of the bag and leave all the other sections under the bag so that it can stay moisturized and not dry out you know so I don't have to really use a spray bottle to re-moisturize it um, or re-wet re it and it's been working so far. I only have like four little sections to go. Uh, I think I might continue to do it this way. I feel like it's kind of saving me some time, even though I do have to. I am going back and, uh, you know, making sure, pulling out the shed hair, undoing the twist, each twist before I braid it up, and pulling out the shed hairs and making sure it's, you know, detangled that I don't have any knots or whatever. And then um, I'm sealing with this Oyens, uh the sugarberry one. It's just a little uh, different from the burnt sugar, but basically the same. And um, and then once I do that, I twist it back up, and then I put the weave on. I actually have the hair already separated. Once again, I'm using this Eon T1B30. And, um, I guess I can show you. It comes like this in a, like a net, the net 
sorry that light is horrible but it comes in this in a little hairnet um and it's let's see well the other one i've already i'm almost to the end of the first pack so i've already cut all the hair off of it but it comes on a But it comes on a track here. I hope y'all can see. And um, so anyway, so what I do is just basically cut the piece of hair like close to the track when I'm ready for it. Excuse me. And uh, and then I I ended up separating them when I first started and got kind of frustrated or aggravated with it. I was separating them in threes. Each piece that I would get off the track, I was separating in threes, and um, that was just a little bit too small, and so I ended up doing them, just separating them in twos, and this is the size that I got, which is which is good. I mean, it's good for me. Um, next time, I probably will try to go for this size, but I know I'm gonna probably need maybe two and a half probably even three packs if i did them this size which i think that's cute but um and i guess that's the whole like what they really supposed to look like or the puffy spring twist or whatever it's supposed to look like but um like i said i, I really like mine a little more like kinky twist and um i think i'm probably gonna cut them some more just so it ain't all on my neck um and but this is just you know after just putting them in. Um, and some of them are already about to get on my nerves. I'm gonna have to go back and uh, reinstall because they're coming apart. But do with the ones that are coming apart because every other one ends up twisting on itself. Really, you know, at the end they stay kind of twisted. You don't, you don't even have to curl it or nothing like that when it's all said and done. So anyway, I'm gonna go and knock this out. So hopefully I can be done by tonight. Um, and I would come back and update y'all on the final look. All right, peace.